Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Colette Boyd. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. New details. We are getting a look at the aftermath of an explosion and fire in Genesee County. Firefighters responded to rock solid concrete in Flushing around 11 p.m. last night. There's some explosions. There's a lot of settling inside. There was hydraulic oil. There, it was a, part of it was a concrete business. Part of it was storage. Now, crews were able to put out the fire in about an hour. No injuries were reported. The cause is still under investigation. Please stay with TV5 as we continue to follow this developing story. In light of the mass shooting on campus a month ago, Michigan State University announced several new safety precautions. People on campus now need an MSU ID to enter most on-campus buildings after 6 p.m. The doors will stay locked overnight and reopen to the public at the start of the next business day. Some students say they appreciate the efforts, but others say they would have liked to see the action before a mass shooting took place. MSU says the classroom safety updates will be finished by this fall. A historic attraction right here in Michigan is getting ready for a big milestone. The Kerwood Castle in Owasso will open up today for its 100th anniversary, built by author and Owasso native James Oliver Kerwood. The castle served as his writing studio. The museum will open up for the season today at 1. It's open from 1 until 5, Tuesday through Sunday. Admission is $5 for adults and $2 for children under 10. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Colette. For the rest of this Tuesday, still expecting a lot of sunshine in mid-Michigan. I know folks in the thumb have been under some clouds for today. You'll also see those clouds starting to clear out as we head through the middle of this upcoming afternoon. So your hour by hour showing just that right around 3 p.m. Still seeing some clouds over the thumb. It will be stubborn to leave there, but once it does so, we're clear everywhere into tonight. That is going to allow temperatures to drop off quite a bit as we head into this Tuesday night. So by Wednesday morning, starting off single digits up north temperatures in the middle teens for most of the area towards the south and they're going to be pretty cold so don't put away that cold weather gear just yet but for your Wednesday we're expecting more sun the wind shifts back around to the southwest that eventually takes us into the 40s by Wednesday afternoon your hour by hour also shows some rain coming in for Thursday and Friday we could see a few showers up north Thursday morning that chance is lower but a better chance for Thursday evening and night this also carries over into Friday quite persistent with that rain and we're still on the warmer side of that system so primarily a chance for just plain rain in mid-Michigan but we could see some snow wrapping around on the back side of that the snow not too notable with it but the rain still looking likely that we could pick up at least a half of an inch between Thursday and Friday wind gusts also out of the southwest at around 30 miles per hour on Friday so going to be more of a windy wet just kind of messy end to this work week also lining up on St. Patrick's Day but as we head into the weekend after St. Patrick's Patrick's Day will start to slowly clear things out behind that system. It's just Saturday with a few scattered snow showers, but by Sunday looking to be back to pretty much mostly sunny skies, mostly sunny for your Monday, which is also the first day of spring. Sunday sees highs in the upper 30s, then we're back to the middle 40s by Monday. So as of right now, still not looking too bad on Sunday for that Bay City St. Patrick's Day parade. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.